once the hex bones leave, they discuss how they will go about attempting to reach out to Arath. Zala says that Arath still understands sentiment, but if they refuse to allow it to sink in and internalize it, there is another language they are fluent in. Hyrule smirks and remarks that Zala is most likely to be the best equipped among all of them at the moment to speak to Arath in that language. Zala grimly agrees that she is, and asks Hyrule when they shall set off. Hyrule sighs and says she needs to make some preparations, and she tells Zala that Quinn still needs some crucial guidance. Zala's features settle into a look of fierce determination, and she says, That is one of the main reasons for why I've decided to set out. I was going to do this with or without the rest of you. I am willing and ready to wrath for everything. Juan responds that he is well, and after only a moment of hesitation, Isa says that nobody should be alone in the darkness, and that she will wrath for everything as well. Zella says that she is relieved that she will not be doing this on her own. She hadn't dared to hope it would turn out like this. She is pleasantly surprised. Isa remarks with a grin that it is difficult to not be Kovanen with Kovanen. And then segues into, speaking of, please continue to do all you can for Quinn. John again asks exactly when they will set out. And Issa tells Joanne that Quinn told her she was going to confess her feelings to Kovanen on Halloween, and that she really wanted to hear the results of that before she tears off into space. Zala agrees. She wants to know as well. Still, they begin to prep for battle, which piques Ash and Ferio's interests, though they don't cry just yet. On November 1st, at 4 a.m., Hyrule, Zella, and Joanne's matchmakers all ping with a message at the same time. They rush to answer, expecting good news from Quinn. Instead, they are greeted with a ruined and exhausted-looking Slava. And it's not a pre-recorded message. It's a live chat. Whatever Slava has to say, she wants to tell them personally. As personally as she's able to. That means this is serious. Hyrule says, Scald. What's wrong? Covenants, I have grim news about the truth of what really happened to your... In a Hyrule interrupts her. Our people, sister, juror. Svava looks a mix of touched and wrenched by that. Of course, sister. I have discovered the truth of what happened to our people on Dinhart. Hyrule gulps, seeing Svava quaking so, and says, Show us. Svava sends it over, shaking with emotion, tears in her eyes. They read it, and they begin to shake in emotion. And once they get to the end, they are quaking with rage as tears blind their vision. It is at this point that Ash and Ferio actually poke in, and Ferio asks, what's going on? Joanne tells him, we are about to mutiny to strike out at Deliverance. They have lost the privilege of our continued association, and never should have had it in the first place. Ash and Ferio look to each other. Zala tells them, we are going to take our people back, comrades. That is what is going on. Ferio says, no, no, no. Not comrades, covenants. We are your covenants. Joanne erupts. Are you? Ash steps forward. Yes, we are. May we join you and contend you to battle alongside you. Hyrule looks uncertain. Do you know what they would do to you? Ash draws out her tablet and scrolls through it. The same thing they will do to you. She plays an audio clip. We cannot lose. We cannot. They may torture my body, break my bones, 
even kill me. Then, they will have my dead body. Not my obedience. While this audio clip is playing, both Ash and Ferio look to their companions who are with them in the Arath lands, with a look of fierce determination burning in their eyes. And the three Shai who comprise the Arath lands with them know that look intimately. Hyrule looks up at the sky. The sun will rise in a few hours. She sighs, and she fishes out her good moonshine, and she tells Jawan to start a fire. He does. Hyrule gets the spray paint can out of her mech and drops it to the ground. Then she types off a quick message to Isadora on the matchmaker. Which reads, Deliverance was never on our side, but I remain on yours. I yearn to return to your side, our Isadjur. And she attaches the reports to Fava Sent and fires it off. Then she drops down and drinks the moonshine slowly with her lance. When she finishes the spirits, she tosses the bottle into the fire, causing it to burst and blaze. Juan, Zala, Ash, and Ferio follow suit. As Zala sets the color on the paint can and says, so we find ourselves at the crispy yet again. Hyrule says we do, and she gazes intently into the fire. Zala says, I still believe this is a necessary and good thing to do. What I am about to propose to all of us. She looks up at the sky. Joanne says, perhaps you are right, my ear again. Perhaps a little wrath is a treat. Ash says, no, Kovanen, all the wrath we can give them and more. After all, they do so love to take. Joanne looks to them both, Ash and Ferio, and says, welcome to Frolias, Ash and Ferio. And they nod somberly. Zala, after a moment of silence, says, let us a wrath for everything. Hyrule sighs again. She looks back over her mech, and then she looks back to the group with a wry expression on her face. Become that which you desire. Zala grins. An improved definition. Original Hyrule would be pleased. Hyrule takes the spray can from Zala, and she takes a moment to resolve herself. Then she paints over her trans flag colors, and she coats the mech from top to bottom in midnight blue. Then she holds out the spray can. Ash steps forward. She takes the can from Hyrule, who is now a wrath, and she smiles at wrath, and she repaints her mech midnight blue. Ferio takes the can from Ash, who is now a wrath, and does the same to his mech. Joanne takes the can from Ferio, now a wrath, and repaints his mech as well. Zala takes the can from her Irrigan and Dan, now a wrath, shakes it up, coats her mech in midnight blue, and she is now also a wrath. The wraths look at each other, and the wrath formerly known as Hyrule just looks so determined, but also so sad. The wrath formerly known as Zala adjusts the settings on the spray can and moves over to Hyrule Wrath's mech, and she spray paints down the sides, giving it bold red racing stripes, not unlike the yellow stripes Quinn has on her mech, and she looks to her Arath Kavanans, and she drops the paint can. She says softly to Hyrule Arath, Now you'll go faster. They mech up, and Arath Zala patches her sound system through the matchmaker. A song begins to play as they tear off into space. It is time for Arath to speak to Arath in the language of Wrath the First. Rage. Hindsight is 2020. Arath Ash realizes as the Arath Lance musters up to the first martyr unit they can reach. 
that Deliverance didn't so much keep the Ashai separated out of some compassionate desire to prevent them from losing whole swaths of their remaining population in a failed assault, but to maintain their complete control over them. For Aroth, Ash is floored by the distinction between the bound Aroths she fights alongside and the isolated Aroths they engage. That even this small number of Arathan people being covenant with each other transforms into an unrelenting, inexhaustible, overwhelming, and insatiable force. It strikes her with a kind of terror she's never before felt in her life. What she witnesses reminds her of the story Lyra told her then at the Alia when she spoke of Reavers, except her Arathan Kovanans are even worse. For the Reavers in Lyra's tales were mindless, but the Arath France is anything but mindless. It is precise and purposeful. They are ruthless, and she is thrilled by it, energized by it, and consumed by it. The Ashai told her and Arath Ferio their chosen names. The first martyr of the unit does not immediately listen to Arath Nesrin's song. Arath Isa doesn't hold back. She blasts one full force with the same gun that carved Isadora out of her mech in one hit but it does not leave this mech intact. Their ejection seats have been sabotaged intentionally, so that non ashai martyr would have been just gone, except Arath Isa fired with such a fractional accuracy that she literally carved the pilot out of their mech as their mech comes apart silently in space. Arath Andam tethers the surprised martyr and pulls them in. Arath Nesrin announces over the comms, the force of the wrath, amplifying her words. That was a warning shot. The martyr unit hesitates. Arath Andam strikes, slamming into an Ashai martyr, tearing open their cockpit and grabbing them from their pilot's chair before dusting their mech with a flamethrower. Issa's flamethrower. He hadn't used that weapon in the skirmish with the hex girls. Arath Ash lines up a shot with her sniper rifle as she asks her covenants, why did you hold back during the ritual? Didn't that violate the ritual? The Arathing Ashaya laugh. Arath Issa tells her that the hex girls passed the ritual the moment they set eyes upon them, and they reinforced and solidified that determination the moment Bryn said that they didn't agree with their employer. We did not hold back, Kovanin, for we were on the same side all along. Arath Nesrin starts up another song as Arath Issa excises another martyr from their mech with keen precision, and Arath Andam reels them in as well. And we are on their side, too. She is indicating the martyrs. They just need a firmer hand. The Passway worked between us and our Hex Girls. This, Kovanin, is the Aegon Way. Arath Nesrin and Arath Andam cheer Arath Ferio on as he flings up a barrier in the path of a boosting martyr, causing them to slam into it and, yes, tear through it, but it's right into Arath Ash's crosshairs, and she blasts their engine out in one shot, spinning them out. An Ashai martyr deactivates their optical camo. Their black and silver mech is midnight blue. They turn on their unit. The Arath Lance just got their one. The Ashai Arath hammers into their former commander and carves them out of their mech, and it cascades. The rest of the Ashai in the martyr unit go from black and silver to solid midnight blue. The Arath Lance gets them all. And the non Ashai martyrs also embrace Arath. They join up. Then, they keep going. 